Boston Dynamics' recent video showcases the robot's Parker abilities, which are both impressive and a bit frightening. Atlas has been filmed walking across a warehouse floor, picking up items, jumping upstairs, tossing items, and even doing a backflip in the video. By establishing the Boston Dynamics AI Institute, Hyundai and Boston Dynamics will experiment with AI technology for advanced robots and develop new hardware designs. Research and development are at the forefront of Boston Dynamics history as a robot manufacturer founded in 1992. However, artificial intelligence has played a minor role in this process. As a result, the company focuses on frictionless robot mechanics and hand programming capabilities. More AI for Spot, Atlas & Co. However, this is changing. Advances in artificial intelligence, such as machine vision, allow robots to control themselves more intelligently. For example, Boston Dynamics Stretch Warehouse robot uses more computer vision than previously manual motion sequences. Boston Dynamics' new AI Institute will conduct research on cognitive artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence for sports or robot motion, organic hardware design, and policy and ethics. Robotics can be advanced by combining these disciplines, the Institute reports in its announcement. The Institute will be funded with $400 million from Boston Dynamics and Hyundai's parent company, which will develop its technologies and collaborate with other organizations' research units. Atlas's advanced robotic capabilities and features include its 28 hydraulic joints, 5.6 miles per hour speed, real-time perception, and model predictive control, which have led to the robot's viral status in the past. There was one thing Atlas lacked in those videos, however, hands. We're not just thinking about how to make the robot move dynamically through its environment like we did in Parker and Dance, said Scott Quindersma, Atlas team lead, in a behind-the-scenes video. Now we're starting to put Atlas to work and think about how the robot should be able to perceive and manipulate objects in its environment. As part of the viral video, Atlas pushes a large wooden block off a ramp with his new grippers after he picks up a slab of wood and sets it on another surface. After lifting a bag, he throws it to a construction worker and finally lifts a bag, throwing it to him. In today's work environments, humanoid robots need the ability to manipulate objects in their environments. To succeed, a humanoid robot must resemble a human as much as possible in those environments. A humanoid robot will be well-suited for applications like manufacturing, factory work, construction, where a humanoid form factor actually fits very well with its bimanual nature, its ability to stand upright, move heavy things around, and work in spaces that were traditionally designed for humans, says Quindersma. Currently, the robot is unavailable for purchase or on the market. Robots that can routinely perform real-world tasks are still a long way off, according to Atlas Control lead Ben Stevens. Several other companies, including NASA and Tesla, are also developing robotic devices that could assist humans daily at home and work. Asymmetrical flip. As the video ends, Atlas performs a multi-axis flip, inverted 540 degrees. As an added challenge, the twist creates an asymmetry that isn't present in a traditional backflip. In tests, Atlas arms and legs kept getting tangled in its own limbs because of the more complicated math and the complexity of the calculations. As a software engineer on the Atlas Controls team, Robin Deitz said in a blog post, we're making use of every joint on the robot. That trick is right at the limit of what the robot can do. Atlas is not a commercially available robot like Boston Dynamics' four-legged spot. Robotics is being pushed to its limits purely as a research project. Parkour forces us to understand the physical limitations of the robot, and dance forces us to think about how precise and dexterous the whole body motion can be, Dykes said. Now, manipulation is forcing us to take that information and interpret it in terms of how we can get the hands to do something specific. Ben Stevens, Atlas Control's lead, said the team was concerned about Atlas' ability to quickly perform its new manipulation tasks. People are very good at these tasks, so that has required some pretty big upgrades to the control software, he said. Robots will eventually be able to perform real, physically demanding jobs with hustle, according to Boston Dynamics. This gives a sneak peek at where the field is going. This is the future of robotics, Stevens said. Robots should become more like humans. As part of its mission, the Institute will develop robots that are far superior to anything available currently. Robots will become smarter, more agile and dexterous, and generally easier to use and more human-like. In addition to achieving this goal, robots and other intelligent systems will be able to improve productivity, 
take over dangerous jobs for humans, provide care for people with disabilities, or even improve the quality of life for people in general. Boston Dynamics was primarily a research and development company for more than two decades. With the 8i Institute, the company could put projects on its own feet. The company launched open robot sales with its spot dog robot in the summer of 2020. Stretch, a logistics robot designed to help in DHL's warehouse, was also introduced. In contrast, there is the visionary humanoid robot Atlas, see our history of robotics, whose use in practice will likely become practical sometime soon and possibly never will. Atlas will, however, advance robotics as a whole as a research project. Can AI make games? There have been substantial advancements in artificial intelligence in game development, and they are not slowing down soon. I look forward to seeing what the future holds. Now the question is, can't I make games? That's right, it can. Video games have been adapted to players' preferences thanks to artificial intelligence. In most cases, machine learning is used to achieve this. It is possible to let the AI system learn from many games, create approximate representations of the games, and then combine the knowledge from these representations to create new games based on conceptual expansion. The fast-growing role of artificial intelligence is being played in the gaming world as artificial intelligence helps create more challenging and engaging game experiences. It won't surprise me to see artificial intelligence used even more in gaming in the future. The Boston Dynamics AI Institute pushes ahead with complex basic research into robotics. While Boston Dynamics focuses primarily on commercial productive robots, considering the needs of its listed parent company Hyundai, Alrizi will become the AI Institute's chief technology officer in support of this theory. Rizzi has more than 25 years of experience in robotics development, including 17 years at Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics, a global leader in mobile robotics, released a new robotic solution designed specifically for warehouses and distribution centers. One of the most advanced robots in the world today, Stretch, is part of a new generation of mobile robots. A select group of customers has been testing Stretch since the spring of 2021. Those early customers, including DHL supply chain Gap H&M, and performance team, a Maersk company, have already sold out all units scheduled for delivery in 2022. Reservations for deliveries in 2023 and 2024 are now being accepted by Boston Dynamics. The Stretch Robot is a mobile, versatile tool for unloading trailers and containers from the floor, making warehouse operations safer and more efficient. The robot can handle a wide range of packages and sizes, including straightforward brown boxes and highly graphically designed boxes. The robot is equipped with a 50-pound weight limit. Designed to maneuver in and out of tight spaces in warehouses and trucks, Stretch has a footprint the size of a pallet. With this robot, warehouse infrastructure can be modernized in just a few days with an easy-to-scale, autonomous solution. So, what do you guys think about this video? Please share your reviews in the comment section and let us know what you think about this AI. I hope you find this video inspiring and informative. If you did, remember to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Stay tuned as we will come up with many new and exciting videos. Till then, goodbye.